my goodness gracious. So Justin was supposed to be here at 10 a.m. this morning. Uh, he did not check in uh, very, very early. Uh, he actually tried to do it this morning because he didn't check in in time and they moved him from his flight because his parents' flight got overbooked. Let's get the vlog started, bro. <laughs> You're here. Welcome back. Take out his AirPods because he's a cool cat. What do you know, fellow Moran's Mafia Patreon, on our way to Denver. <laughs> That's awesome. Yo, it is. Oh, it's something big though. Oh, oh, oh my God. Get, go our, left. That's our exit. Oh, that's our exit. Yeah. Oh, go for it, bro. I don't think it's a good idea to pass this thing. Look at this guy. Bro, Thunder Valley's right there. Yeah. You can see all the semis right there. Yo! Oh, holy cow. Dude, I felt the heat through the glass. Same. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? You didn't know where you were for a minute. Do I know you? <laughs> we have arrived. So this is the new backdrop. Wow. I'll have to open that up tomorrow. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is Oakley. <laughs> wow. Alright, we'll let's see what this is. Ooh, that's that's yeah. sick. Another one? Another one? <laughs> Another one? Alrighty, sweet. Heck yeah, well they're all black, which makes it easy. Those are giveaway goggles one. I don't know what these are. Whoa! Oh, look That's at That's one of like those. the new ones that all the boys have been wearing. It's kind of wild. <laughs> That's crazy because you see all the way down in here, there's no like, you don't see the glasses. Sweet. Rugged radios. Hooking it up. Oh yeah, see? Hey, Billy. We got a job for you. You the most experienced with radios. We got all the radios. We just oh, got yeah, them in. We'll oh, figure it out. Look at that. Alrighty, so we have made it. We were here at Thunder Valley. Tracks right behind us. Uh, we were just coming in here, grabbing some food, and we're gonna go to the hotel. Justin and I uh, and play with our toys later. However, we see how that works. We uh, we got too excited, so now we're playing with them now. <laughs> so shout out to Rugged. Uh, oh, they're hooking us up with some headsets. Is that going? Yeah, turn it all the way. There you go. Now say it again. Oh, I can hear you. <laughs> Loud and clear. <laughs> That's awesome. And you were can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I feel like I'm Rick and Bobby right now. Brand new backdrop from ASC. The new sponsors. And now it is time to unload. Wheels are off. Time to take them up to Pirelli. Get some new fresh shoes. Fresh, brand new fly racing gear with all the updated logos for outdoors. The factory anchor tape support. Appreciate you, Corey. I gotta put it on because Kev doesn't know how to line it. Hey, 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 hey. He's not wrong. What? He's not wrong. <laughs> Stuff looks good. What do we think of the track so far? We've got some changes. They've turned, made it wind in and out a little bit more so it's not so fast. Uh, I think it's gonna suit Kevin's style. So I think, I think we're looking good in that fact. It's still gonna be probably pretty deep when it comes to how rutted it's gonna be. That's one thing with this track, it's always very long, deep ruts. It's kind of like half of Unadilla. Unadilla is always worse, but other than that, not, <laughs> might not too, no, no, I just had a stroke. <laughs> might not be too shabby. It's the altitude. <laughs> We're breathing hard up here. <laughs> the track looks absolutely phenomenal. Dude, that thing looks massive. You and your Tundras, bro. See that 14 inch screen inside that thing? <laughs> You're ridiculous. 
I'm on that Toyota Tacoma live, bro. Alrighty, so we're here. Uh, it is race day, Thunder Valley. Um, we kind of had to get everything together earlier this morning, so we don't have any video earlier this morning. However, we're getting ready to go up for first qualifying session, so time to go send it. Justin here with his peach palm, palm tree pit shirt because he didn't have anything. Uh, full factory life. But no, it was obviously a little bit muddy. I got out there immediately like third corner went down because it was going through a deep rut and it shifted into neutral for me. So I had to pull in, straighten the, uh, the wheel out and then came out and tried to send it. Never even hit ruts like that since last year because uh, the little prep that I had coming into the race was on a sand track that was pretty flat. So I think we're ended up like 27th right now and I don't know if the track's going to get faster for the next one. So other than that, pretty sweet. So I appreciate everybody jumping in on the Rams Mafia, getting in on the, uh, the patrons here, names on the bike, and all sorts of stuff like that. So appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll get the bike washed up and ready for Poly 2. Got done with quality two. Uh, it was a little bit better. We actually ended up setting my sag. We set my sag before I broke the suspension in uh, and did a couple motos. We checked it again. It was good. But when we got here and after the first one, we we're at 91 sag. So we changed it back to about 100, 102, uh, and it helped a little bit. Obviously, my time, uh, the where I'm sitting, I'm not super stoked with, but straight into the moto, and that was kind of the goal. Being my first pro motocross of the year with four days on MX, uh, not too shabby. So we'll just kind of figure it out, make a few adjustments going into a moto one. Uh, get my gear off, get it all cleaned up, get freshened up, and get ready to send it. Alrighty, so what we're setting up right now is the stuff you guys don't really get to see. Um, I'm prepping for in between motos, what I'm gonna set up. Uh, we've got the Rhino Power Hydration Fuel, I just put it in this, that way it's not getting crumbled. Uh, we've got the Carbo Fuel, so we'll do probably two scoops of this, a scoop of this, and then we've got some Himalayan Pink Sea Salt. I'll do a couple pinches of that in each of these, so we can down these in between motos before we go out for the next one. And then we've got some motivation, and then we're going to take three endurance before the moto, uh, and probably another three before moto two. Shout out Rhino Power. Um, however, I just want to talk a little bit about my program. I appreciate everybody jumping on board. We've got Tank Masters as our title sponsor. A lot of people ask me, what is Tank Masters? Like, what do they have going on? So they are out of Orange County, New York. They are they Tank Masters. They remove oil tanks, residential, commercial, and anything like that. They're just a great family in the moto industry. They love what I have going on when I'm building my program and they wanted to join in. So, major shout out to Tank Masters for jumping on board. We got some other cool sponsors, Koi CBD, Gree, Redline Fits coming from Supercross and joining in again. Then we got 
insignia, which is all of our merch that we just dropped. Uh, so go to KevinMorans.com to check that out. And Luminex, EW Performance. We've got a lot of great people behind us, so I really appreciate everybody jumping in. We've got Four State Moto Complex for a helmet wrap this weekend. We're doing helmet wraps in every single round. So it's, it's a lot of people coming together to make the program work. So I appreciate you guys. We've also got the Moran's Mafia going on. So Moran'sMafia.com, get your name on the bike. Get some cool giveaways. We actually have a polar watch that we're going to be giving away at the, uh, the end of this month. So jump in now. We've got Oakley signed goggle giveaway. We do every single week. And we're going to do a signed at Cherry Beast front number plate every single week as well for Patreon. So I appreciate you guys jumping on board. I know that was a lot. And looking for mechanics, helping hand videographers to help keep the vlog alive. We're going to keep Seder editing the vlogs, but we need the footage. So if you guys are interested in coming out and helping, luckily this weekend we have RH Media on board. If you guys want to go check them out, rhmediafilm.com. Go check them out and give them some love. I appreciate you guys. Let's get ready for the motos. comfortability on moto isn't there yet so we'll get into it uh, there's a couple guys that got around me and kind of pulled away from me that I don't like seeing pull away from me I feel like I should be beaten so kind of conserved a little bit of energy just rode smooth because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to charge or do anything like that because I just pump up and be completely shot so decent moto 24 not exactly what we wanted but we'll get a little bit better to start this next one and uh, shoot for that top 20 yeah, I just want to ball, somebody I can call yeah. Trophies on the wall, can I really have it all? I just want to ball, somebody I can call Trophies on the wall, can I really have it all? Next nine, more or less. We're not going to do the last one in Cali unless for some reason we want to. Big shout out to everybody who's jumping on board, all of our new partners. 
allowing us to go racing. Also, everybody in the Moran's Mafia at moransmafia.com. We actually had one guy come up, give me $100 cash to sign his name on there for, for one round. So, I mean, if I got open spots, we'll probably keep doing that. So, if you guys want your name on, come up, throw some cash at me, and we'll let you guys sign the bike, more or less. So, pretty cool to see people come to the races, wanting to join the Moran's Mafia, wanting to join the program, and helping us out, because it goes a long way. Again, big shout out to RH Media Films. Dot com. Go check them out. Orange Media Films saved us when it comes to what we have here for a vlog. They got all the footage, so big shout out to them. Clutch is on it with the video editing. So other than that, we're going to be looking for people at every single round. So I appreciate you guys jumping on board. Find a way to contact me because we're looking for little videographers every single race, more or less, until Sater can get back at it. So appreciate you guys, and we'll see you at the next round.